Yo, it's Teebs. I'm going to show you guys how to overclock your monitor. It's going to be super simple and easy. The only thing that is needed is a NVIDIA GPU in order to do it this way. So we're going to right click right on the screen here. We're going to go to NVIDIA control panel. You're going to get this window, lots of different options. You want to make sure you go to the change resolution option. If you have multiple displays, you want to pick whichever display it is that you want to overclock. So now we're going to we're going to pick this one for the video and now we're going to go to customize and in here you just want to go to create custom resolution. The first time you click that box, it's basically going to say Microsoft and Nvidia is not liable for any damages that occur from messing with these settings. So now our refresh rate is 60. We don't want to go too high with this bad boy. We want to go kind of low to start off. So we're going to go to 65. That means we can see five more FPS on the screen if it works. And now if that works, you could go even further, say up to 70. If that works fine, you could go up to 75. Usually from what I've read, you don't really want to go more than 15 hertz above what the default is. So if it's 60, you don't want to go more than 75 really, to be honest. So now you want to go to test. Now what's going to happen is your screens are going to go black. It's just kind of seeing if it could run this new resolution that you put in this new refresh rate. So don't be alarmed. It is normal. So we're going to go to test really quick here. Now, if it works, it says your custom resolution has been applied. So now your monitor is working at 65 Hertz pretty much. So we're going to click yes. Okay. Everything's going to go black again. Okay, cool. Now we have that resolution in there. So you want to close out of this bad boy. You want to right click, go to display settings. Sorry, it popped up on a different monitor, but this is what will pop up. You want to scroll all the way down to advanced display settings. You want to pick the monitor that you just overclocked, which is this one. You want to go to display adapter properties for display two. It might be a different display, but as long as you pick the right monitor here that you overclocked, just make sure you click right here. Go to monitor. Now it's still at 60 Hertz, but we made a new profile in NVIDIA control panel. So now when we click on this, we could set it to 65 Hertz and then you just apply it. And I think your screen goes black again to apply the new settings. Yep. And then you want to say keep changes. So now your monitor is running at a higher Hertz than default Hertz provided. So now if you're playing a game, you can see an extra five Hertz. As long as everything worked properly, you could go back, do all those steps and increase it by another five Hertz and see if that'll work for you to get as many free Hertz as you can. It's been Teebs. Peace out.